What's going on guys? It's your boy Nate and I'm back with another one. And today you guys are gonna learn my two unique stances that I use while riding the wheel. I have a total of about three to four different stances, but today we're gonna cover about two. Now without further ado, let's get into it. teach you guys is the power stance okay the power stance the power stance should only be used if you're experienced with the wheel if you're not experienced while riding this type of wheel don't try and do the power stance so literally what I do is I have both legs turning inwards on the shell where it's getting all the power from the motor and you see that my shins and knees is positioned inside of the wheel and this is a power stance so you have to have good control while you're riding you know you can easily do a lot of movements all the movements are going to be very fast even in hard mode, medium mode, you know, in every mode pretty much the, you know, the responsiveness of the wheel is gonna be very strong. So you have to be able to be good at braking and have good control. So if you're a beginner, don't do this stance. So as you can see, my knees are bent and pretty much it's, my both feet are pointing inward on the wheel. This is a power stance. And also the wheel is gonna move in any direction that you do. It's gonna just be very responsive. And then due to the fact that the pedals are angled, it makes it a better stance if you wanna to transition to, to a speeding stance. As you can see, the pedals are very angled compared to your traditional wheel. You see that the pedals are angled here so it makes it better so it makes it a better stance 
opportunity to do so. As you can see. So guys, this is the power stance. So remember guys, this is the power stance. Both feet position into the pedals. Now the, the setback and drawback about the stance is that if you don't have good control, it can lead you to, you know, have an, an incident if you're not, if you don't know how to control the wheel fast enough, if your, your reaction time isn't fast. But this wheel will get the maximum power out of your wheel without using any pads, without using any anything to, you know, any modification. So this is how you can ride the wheel stock fast and get maximum power from the wheel on the MSX exclusively. And that's stance number one. So the next stance I want to talk about is um, this is this is the speeding stance or cruising stance. See with this stance now, pretty much is different from the last one. With this stance, you're gonna have a, both feet is gonna be more outwards. Now this is if the road, the road is smooth and everything is clear and you just want to feel the nice cruising feel of the wheel. This, this stance is less aggressive, but it still allows you to go at a higher speed, but it's just not as aggressive as the inward stance. This stance to me, it actually helps like feet fatigue because it's, it goes into the pedal. This stance is gonna cause more fatigue because your feet is on an angle, you know? The angle pedals are already kills it, but you know, this, so I, I feel more comfortable personally when I ride with my legs outwards and on smooth roads, you know? And then I have this stance here, which is, this is the precision stance. So I, I use my right foot as the control leg and the left foot is more of a stabilizer leg. Even though the right leg is a control leg, you still have to solidify your balance. So I keep my left foot turning inwards. If you're a lefty, it's the opposite way around. So my right foot is a control leg and the left foot, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a stabilizer and the shifter leg where I'm able, I use this leg to turn and navigate as you can see. So yeah. And that's how I use the third stance I just mentioned to you guys when I'm navigating through NYC and I'm going through a lot of bumpy roads or when I'm really focused, I use that third stance. But again, that third stance will be for another video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's your boy Nate, and I'm going to catch you back with another one. Peace.